Griefline is a wonderful organisation that supports anyone experiencing grief, facing any type of loss, providing access to free telephone and online support services and resources. Now, during the COVID lockdowns, a Facebook page dedicated to the love of cooking meat on a mini spit called the Mini Spit Society went viral. So Griefline and this Facebook page formed a partnership. So how valuable is it, again, that, that, that something like this just springs up for, for Griefline and your cause? So um, that's why you guys connected, I guess. Yeah, 100%. That's why we connected. And I thought, as I start to gather a, a slight audience, I thought, you know, what can we do to sort of help someone out or help a, you know organisation out during um, the lockdown in yeah. the last two years? And obviously, I've got a, a personal connection with Lou, being a friend for a long time. So um, when I saw the amazing uh, work she was doing at Griefline, I uh, reached out and we, we started putting together a little collaboration. And during this courageous conversation with Louisa Smith from Griefline, we explored and discussed how and why men in particular suffered during the COVID lockdowns. Are women more equipped to deal with uh, that situation? Am I being sexist here? I'm just thinking maybe they're more <laughs> flexible than guys are in a routine or maybe they were at work. I mean, women work as well. Um, I don't know, it just seems like blokes just, uh, when the world turned upside down <laughs> with the pandemic, um, you know, I, I personally struggled with it. I mean, I've had, I had a, uh, a relationship breakdown through that as well. Mm, COVID mm. was part of it. Is that part of it too? When couples were together, I'm not sure if this was my personal situation, maybe it played <laughs> part of it, but we spent so much time together in lockdown. Um, did that put stress on relationships definitely, as well? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. What we noticed, particularly in the last 12 months, you know, Traditionally, people will reach out to us because they're bereaved, so they've lost a loved one, they've died. Um, and then other than that, it would be other losses like financial loss, right. um, but relationship loss um, crept up to number three, mm. presenting reason mm. for why people reaching out to us. Loneliness and a sense of isolation was number one. I see. So uh, outside of bereavement. So oh. that, you know, that just tells us. And then number four was mental health issues. Right. So there you are. Griefline and the Mini Spit Society on Facebook found this wonderful synergy. By joining forces, they were helping people together. How important is that, Louisa? As Maddie says, there's females there as well, but for, for blokes to gather in this sort of environment. Mm, yeah, absolutely. And it's, it is all about connection. Um, you know, when you're losing that physical capacity to actually be with people, be present with people, um, that spiral into loneliness um, mm. can occur. So what Matt did, probably completely unbeknown to him mm. of what he was actually creating was a really um, safe, fun environment for people to get together and connect. Yes. We can see behind you there the phone number for the Griefline uh, helpline, the free service. And I know it's all confidential, but I'm, I'm guessing blokes a bit harder for them to pick up the phone and and ring you when they feel isolated when they're feeling that loss is it hard to find the men and encourage them to to, to oh, do yeah. that uh, Lou? yeah yeah definitely so about 38 percent of our callers are male and the rest are female yeah. definitely seen a little increase this last 12 months with men reaching out which is great to see um but definitely that it's a it's a higher demographic of men so really 18 to 44 year old men they're they're not really reaching out to us yeah.